Have you engaged with the Tatas about your kind of interest that you have in the steel units of, uh, of uh, Tata Steel UK? Which are the units you are looking to buy? We are interested at least in the entire strip business, which means Port Talbot and all its downstream businesses, including Clanvern, Trusta, um, the, the Shorten, uh, Corby and uh, Hartlepool. So all, all the businesses which are fed by the Port Talbot products. And Sanjeev, what's the kind of valuation that you're going with? No, our calculations at this stage are preliminary because we have not had any engagement or any access to any information. Once that process starts and we get access to all the information, then we can work out uh, issues and valuations because it's a complex transaction. There are many, many, many moving parts to it. There are many liabilities and all of those have to be tackled before any valuations can be assessed. Sanjeev, you tell me one thing. I mean, the, the UK steel industry is bleeding the cost of production is very high. Chinese imports is a huge threat for the industry. The kind of electricity costs that are there in UK makes steel units unviable. What makes you so bullish that you'll be able to turn them around? See, I, I, the way we have analyzed it, we have to break this into two parts. If you decouple the iron making and the rest of the business, the rest of the business means the hot mill downwards, hot mill, all the downstream businesses. All of those are businesses which we believe it's an, in our ability to turn them around and make uh, them viable and profitable. A challenge is going to lie to make the hot end profitable. That is where the money is largely lost at the moment. And the reason it's lost is quite simple. The reason it's lost is because it imports all its raw material. Our solution, which we have, which we have been working on for quite some time anyway, we've been working on for several years, is to recycle steel in the UK. Sanjeev, while small tweakings will not be enough, aren't job losses inevitable there? No, because first of all, there's already been fair amount of job losses. So what you're left with in uh, Port Albert, for example, the number of people, then you need at least that much. If you're going to turn from, you know, if you're going to make that four million tons of steel there, you will need that, at least that many people. In fact, Port Talbot employs almost 4,000 people and the losses are upwards of 1 million pounds a day. That's the kind of losses we are talking about. Correct. So, isn't it a little scary? Of course it is, which is why we want to do our due diligence properly. We have a concept in mind, which applies very well to our plants, which we have, uh, which are not far. I mean, our Newport plant is a stone throw away from, uh, from to Port Albert. It's less than half an hour away. So, it applies... It certainly applies to our plant. I see no reason why it will not apply to Port Albert. Sanjeev, the UK government has also requested the Tatas not to rush through the sale process and get a credible buyer on board. According to you, how long will the process likely to take? Because Tatas were keen on completing the process in a pretty short period of time. No, you know, I don't. Tata is a credible and a responsible seller. And on more importantly, Tata does not want to see this shut because to shut this plant, the liabilities will be far more than they would be if they were sold. So uh, I, I think they are obviously motivated to do a quick sell because they're losing money. Once you know you're a corporate, you're losing money, and you want to exit. Of course, you want to do it as soon as possible. So as soon as, as long, but I believe that as long as there are credible buyers in the in the bidding and there is a credible process going on, which which shows clear hope and intention that we are going to get to a sale point, I believe they will be reasonable. UK is willing to take over part of the pension liabilities of the UK steel facilities. Do you think such a, such a support from the UK government is critical to a deal? <coughs> pension is a clear issue which needs to be tackled. We have not uh, applied ourselves yet to how or what but most optimal solution to that will be. We have, as I was saying, we have engaged advisors both on all sides, on advisory, legal, and banking side. So we will be putting together our team and we will be analyzing all these questions. And pension is certainly one of the co important questions in the, in, in the mix. But the most important part will also be about engaging with the trade unions. I mean, no. have, you, have you begun the process of speaking to the unions? How confident no. are no. you of getting a support from the trade unions there? I am very confident. I mean, you remember we have a very strong relationship with the unions already based on our own plants in the UK. Uh, they have been extremely, extremely helpful. They all want to see a sustainable long-term solution. So I think they, more than anybody, will need to need to see the plan and need to see that it's, it's doable, it's sustainable. And if they can be convinced that our plans are doable and sustainable and that they don't cause uh, job losses, I believe they will be our greatest supporters in this process. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.